This is how you will find the next 100x altcoin. In this video, I will be explaining to you guys my exact strategy, how I'm finding altcoin based on just technical analysis, so no fundamental analysis at all involved into finding these specific altcoins. I will be providing you guys with an example of an altcoin that based off that strategy is already pumping very hard, but I will also be providing you guys with an altcoin that is about to pump very hard based on my technical analysis. First, let's discuss what we have to look for in order Order to find this kind of altcoin so what you want to see is a huge move to the downside that we see over here for example on chainlink and that huge move to the downside is being followed up by boring sideways reaccumulation at the bottom of the downwards move now why do we want to see this sideways movement after that strong move to the downside because that sideways movement over a longer period of time is giving smart money the bigger players inside of this market the time to fill their long and buy positions Positions. why do they need so much time to fill their orders because when we talk about their orders guys we are talking about tens of millions sometimes even one hundreds of millions of dollars worth of orders and if they want to fill 100 million dollars worth of buy orders they also need 100 million dollars worth of orders from people selling to them in order so that they can fill their buy orders and those orders are not coming into the market every single second especially not after such a huge move to the downside not everyone is willing to sell at such a huge discount but by moving the price sideways they are making people very very bored and over a longer period of time because people are bored or scared the price might move down even more they start panic selling or selling out of boredom and smart money the biggest players inside of this market are absorbing the short and sell pressure in order to fill their own long and buy orders but that is why you're looking at these boring sideways reaccumulation zones because that's where smart money is accumulating their orders while retail is selling their position important is that these sideways reaccumulation ranges take place in huge liquidity pools over here we have a big liquidity pool on chaining with these three lows over here providing sales and liquidity and this low over here providing liquidity now why are these valid liquidity pools because the people that identify this higher time frame break of structure and because of that break out long or buy chaining over here or long and buy on the pullback over here or after this bounce over here they see this low as the start of this impulse to the upside that gave us this fake shift in structure or they see this low as their invalidation because it might have started that impulse to the upside that shift the structure so what are they doing whenever they buy spot position over here for example or a swing long position or they buy spot or a swing long over here they're putting their stops beneath these two lows over here as their invalidation some will put it over here but that is also adding to this massive liquidity pool that we have over here then this liquidity Liquidity pool over here is being engineered by this fake break of structure. Because of this fake break of structure, people thought that the bottom was in, so they start breakout longing chaining over here or buying spot over here because of that fake break of structure. And where will these people put their stops? They will put their stops beneath the local low over here. Now, why is this a fake break of structure? You guys should know that by now. Because the high that we broke over here did not bring us to a new low compared to this low that brought us to that high. It only brought us to a higher low. So this is what we call a fake break of structure that is being used to engineer liquidity beneath this low now the liquidity beneath these lows in which that's the area where the sideways movement is taking place why is this liquidity so important because once again smart money uses that liquidity that sells their liquidity in order to fill their orders because if those stops get hit basically people are selling to who are they selling exactly to smart money and the bigger players inside of this market so if you want to find those bottomed out altcoins if you want to find those potentially 100x altcoins you have to look at big sideways ranges reaccumulation ranges very boring ranges after a huge move to the downside but those ranges have to take place inside of valid high time frame liquidity pool now you're probably wondering okay guru but when we find these ranges how can we position ourselves for example over here on chaining we had a beautiful example we see sideways movement that sideways movement is being followed by a fake out below the range low this is what we call a deviation that fake out tapped into this order block that initiated this impulse towards the upside and after tapping into that order block and confirming the deviation we get a reclaim of the range low and that reclaim of the range low is followed up by an impulse to the upside that shifts structure to the upside on the daily time frame now, after getting a deviation of the range low inside of such a huge uh, sideways reaccumulation range and a break of structure to the upside on the daily time frame we have a confirmed potential long-term bottom and that means that we can start looking for long and buy positions on every single pullback so for example we could have looked for a long position on the pullback towards this quality level of support over here 
now let's play the replay over here when we play the replay and we would have bought at the quarterly level right there we can see that after buying spot at the quarterly level chain link eventually started pumping like crazy towards the upside right and that all happened after that sideways reaccumulation range inside of that high time from liquidity pool we spotted the range low deviation followed by a shift destruction to the upside and then we can target higher prices after a pullback towards a discount area and the pullback towards a discount area that's where you want to execute your trade now the example that i'm talking about that is potentially ready to pump very very hard is adam against usdt we can see that we have a very beautiful high time frame sideways reaccumulation range where is the reaccumulation range taking place inside of this liquidity pool and this liquidity pool over here why are these valid liquidity pools look at the high time frame pay break of structure over here and the high time frame pay break of structure over here because of this fake break of structure people put their stops over here because of this fake break of structure people put their stops over here engineering liquidity pool the sideways movement inside of this liquidity pool can result into a breakout and then we can target new autumn highs potentially even one thousand dollars for adam now looking at this range you're probably wondering okay guru this is all nice and that but how are we going to execute a trade based on this idea that adam might break out of this reaccumulation range and pump to one thousand dollars so in my opinion waiting for the range low deviation over here would be stupid but then there's another potential play that you can do you can either anticipate a potential breakout so looking for potential longs around this quarterly level the mid range or this quarterly level or you can wait for a confirmed breakout above that range high and then look for longs upon the right confirmation inside of that breakout area targeting new all-time highs now personally i like to anticipate a potential breakout instead of reacting to a potential breakout okay so over here what we see on adam is very interesting local price section because after the high time frame analysis we want to execute our trade on the lower time frame so we see a low time frame sweep of the low over here after we got a fake break of structure to the upside over here took out the sell stops and then we pump it towards the upside the pump towards the upside results in a break of structure to the upside over here that means that we have the daily trend that is to the upside the four hour trend that is to the upside and the one hour trend that is to the upside now that means that we can target potential higher levels that might result in a breakout and then a pump towards higher targets which means that you could be looking for longs and spot positions right now on adam over here inside of this range with your invalidation over here beneath that low which is also a perfect retest of this mid range and then target potential new all-time highs which means that if you are looking for a swing long for example on adam and put your entry over here the stop loss beneath the local low of the mid range and then target new all-time highs for adam where we also have these equal highs then we are looking at a beautiful rr swing trade of approximately 11. now a spot trade would mean an increase of already 229 percent and if we are targeting potentially 500 dollars or a thousand dollars then the increase and also the rr will increase like crazy so to sum up look for this sideways reaccumulation ranges after a huge move to the downside inside of those higher time frame sell side liquidity pools then after you spot these sideways ranges you have to anticipate a potential bullish scenario but what you want to do is look for those altcoins that are moving sideways and haven't broken out of those sideways accumulation ranges yet and either you anticipate a potential breakout around the quarterly levels or the mid-range levels like we are doing right now with adam or you wait for a confirmed breakout above the range high with confirmation on the four hourly time frame around the range high then you position yourself long or in a spot position targeting new all-time highs or the third option but we are inside of a bull market so we might not get that option is to wait for a deviation of that high time frame range low confirm the deviation with the shift in structure towards the upside and then you position yourself long or in a spot position now if you guys did enjoy today's youtube video make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to this youtube channel and i'll catch you guys on monday's video ciao ciao